Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. Today we are starting off the week with a jailbreak update. Now, there's a lot of moving parts from various different jailbreak teams. There's a couple Apple-related events that happened as well, so I just wanted to take today's video and catch everyone up and get everyone on the same page because some major things could be coming as soon as this week. But before we get into the news, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and bookmark our A12 Jailbreak status checker page so you guys can know when the jailbreak is released and updated for you guys. Anyway, let's get directly back into things. I'm just going to place my phone right here so you guys can see the latest action. All right, so let's head directly into Twitter for some of the latest updates. Let's start out with Null Pixel. I'm not too sure off the top of my head if he is actually a part of the Electra Jailbreak team, but I do know he is working very closely with Coolstar and the rest of the team as well, testing their jailbreak and updating some of his tweaks. Because if you guys don't know NullPixel, he's basically a tweak developer, but he has early access to their jailbreak. Anyway, he tweeted this out pretty much exactly an hour ago saying, if you guys are interested in a permanent solution for tweaks on a jailbreak on a 12, then stay tuned. There is not long left. So that's a very exciting news. Again, just to be super clear here, the very first thing that I'm addressing in this video is Electra jailbreak related news. We might be receiving an Electra jailbreak for iOS 12 that again is going to support iOS 12 to 12.1.2 and hopefully is going to ship with A12 support. So a big reason why we do these updates every single week is to constantly remind users that are on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 to just stay exactly where you are at. Do not update your devices because another jailbreak for iOS 12.1.3 or above is not going to be coming anytime soon. We're very likely to see an iOS 13 beta before a second round of iOS 12 jailbreaks. Anyways, let's move on to the second jailbreak team I wanted to discuss, this one revolving around Pwn to Own and the Uncover jailbreak. Now again, both the Electra and the Uncovered Jailbreak teams are now working on an A12 solution, again for iOS 12 to 12.1.2, that is now going to use Substitute, which is open source, instead of Substrate, as Sorg has pretty much left the Jailbreak community for the time being. Anyway, if you guys want more information about that, definitely check out one of my latest videos. I'll link it down below too. Anyway, some of the latest news from Pwn, one is he tweeted out this yesterday and I thought it was really interesting. He says, would you guys appreciate a feature in Uncover to disable the beta alerts on A12 while full tweak injection support is being worked on? So it sounds like it's going to be awesome news for everyone that's on an iOS 12 beta that has an A12 device because everyone on a beta software Every time they unlock their device, they get that beta warning prompt saying, hey, you're on a beta, and you pretty much have to dismiss it every single time you unlock your device. So it sounds like at least for the Uncovered Jailbreak team, a minor update is going to be pushed relatively soon to disable that beta prompt. But again, I'm super excited for the next release of Uncover, not only because of that, but Pwn also tweeted out this saying he successfully rewritten the unrestricted library from scratch with the new sandbox patches and kernel data locks. He says Uncover will receive a major stability update soon. So again, while he works on A12 support and tweak injection there, he continues to update his jailbreak utility for all the other users on the A7 through A11 devices. In the end, I'm really excited to see what the uncovered jailbreak looks like on A12, regardless of which jailbreak utility comes out first, because we have Electra, we have Pwn's Uncover, and then third that I wanted to talk about, we also have the potential of a rootless jailbreak coming out in the very near future as as well. Pwn tweeted out this saying, if you guys are interested in a temporary solution to load tweaks on A12 devices without Cydia or APT, follow Jake James. Now, if you guys don't know, Jake James is also working on his own jailbreak utility. Now, this one's more of a developer jailbreak because it is rootless. It's not going to ship with a package installer, and there are quite a few limitations of a rootless jailbreak. 
But the good thing that it does add is A, it's probably going to come out quicker, and B, it allows for tweak injection. Granted, you have to manually install these tweaks via SSH or FileZa, but in the end, this allows jailbreak tweak developers to get early access to a jailbreak to update their tweaks. And it sounds like some awesome work is being done in the world of this rootless jailbreak. So one tweet I wanted to share with you guys is this one right here, demoing the new tweak called 6, which is the iOS 6 lock screen. It's now running on an iPhone 10s Max with Jake James rootless jailbreak. So I'll go ahead and click on this video so you guys can see it a little bit better. Basically, it's just showing that he is on iOS 12.1.2. It's then pulling up his iPhone XS Max with an iOS 6 lock screen. So that's a pretty sweet video right there showing it is possible to load tweaks on A12 devices and that a rootless jailbreak, again, is going to be coming very soon. Now, which of the three, either the rootless jailbreak, the Elector jailbreak, or the Uncover jailbreak, which one is going to come first? I'm not quite sure, but in any case, guys, there are now three developers and three separate jailbreak teams and people working on A12 support and finding a solution for that. It seems like this jailbreak is never going to come, but I guarantee you guys it will be worth the wait. So just stay where you're at. Stay on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 at all costs because this is probably going to be the last jailbreak for iOS 12 before an iOS 13 beta is released. So continuing along the lines of iOS updates and beta updates, in this case a developer beta, iOS 12.3 Developer Beta 4 has been seeded to developers as of just this morning, but again, guys, definitely do not update to this or test it out if you guys want to jailbreak anytime soon. There are only a few minor new features like a redesigned TV app, a few new emojis. Really, in my opinion, nothing too earth-shattering to want to update to this over losing your jailbreak. Anyway, I just wanted to notify everyone that a new developer beta is out. iOS 12.3 is going to be expected to be finalized and released to the public sometime in May. That's also when Apple is supposedly going to be launching their Apple TV Plus service, which again, I'm guessing is going to coincide very nicely with this release of iOS 12.3. We'll definitely do a video on iOS 12.3 once it is released to the public and demoing it if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest iOS new features and things like that. But again, guys, Anything above iOS 12.1.2 is not going to receive a jailbreak anytime soon. So definitely do not update to this if you guys are intending on jailbreaking. Anyway, that's pretty much all the news I have for you in this video. A couple minor updates from pretty much every single jailbreak team. That's why I wanted to keep everyone up to date with the latest developments. Anyways, if you guys are excited to jailbreak and if you guys like this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out and bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page. Again, thank you all so much for watching and for the incredible support, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. Now the first one I want to talk about is called Magma. Now this one colorizes the control center platters or the actual toggles themselves. As you guys can see, my volume rocker is blue, my brightness is yellow, my Bluetooth is red, and you guys can customize all of these settings within the settings app. So this one is called Renovare, and it completely redesigns Cydia, giving it a more modern look. And all of these settings are customizable within the settings app. So next up, we have Pullover Pro. You can just pull over right there to access a recently used application. Now, the tweak that I wanted to talk about in today's video is called Clean Player. It gets rid of the timeline right there and just makes the music player look a little bit cleaner. Again, continuing along the lines of music tweaks, the next one is called Micro Player 12, and you can invoke this one with an activator gesture. I just have double tapping on the status bar to pull it up. So as you guys can tell, that is just a bit louder than the stock Find My iPhone sound. 
Lastly, one more centered around the keyboard that I wanted to show you guys is called Action Bar. And this basically lets you copy, cut, select, paste directly right here from the iPhone X's bar at the very bottom. I can activate this just by swiping down on the dock. So that is what the controls now look like. It's super simple, but I really like that you have your music controls right there. Again, you can swipe down on the dock to activate it just like that.